Hey, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to completely uninstall and remove the developer Topanga jailbreak. So if you guys haven't heard, Partial City of Support may be coming soon to the Electro jailbreak, and that is currently being worked on by the developer of said jailbreak being Coolstar. Now if you guys have kept up and followed his recent tweets, he recently tweeted out that if you have previously installed the Topanga developer jailbreak, there may be compatibility issues with his new beta that he's going to release that includes Cydia. So before that comes out, I just wanted to do this video showing you guys how to completely remove the Topanga jailbreak to get your device ready for a new beta of the Electro jailbreak, which could include Cydia. A quick way to tell if you still have remaining files that Topanga has installed on your device is obviously if Cydia is still present on your home screen as no other developer jailbreak has installed Cydia in the past thus far. So because of so many users requesting the removal feature, it looks like the developer Abraham Masri has added a removal feature in the latest build of his Topanga jailbreak. So the easiest and most thorough way I have found to remove said jailbreak is to download his latest build and then click the remove button. That being said, check out the description of this video for the direct link to his GitHub account to download his Xcode project file. Now, Abraham Mastery has not created or compiled an IPA file, so if you are on a Windows computer, you are kind of out of luck as you will need a Mac with Xcode to do this officially. Now, I have found a Reddit post where a user has compiled the Topanga jailbreak into an IPA file, so you can easily use that with City Impactor on Windows or Mac. I just want to make this very clear that this is not my IPA file that I am hosting. That is why I'm linking directly to the Reddit thread so you guys can find the IPA link in that. Anyway, I have tested out this IPA for myself just to make sure it's okay before I link it to all my viewers in my video. But at the same time, like I said, this is not the official IPA. There is no official IPA by Abraham Mastery. So I would still go for the side of just downloading the Xcode project and installing the Topanga jailbreak the official way using that, if you have a Mac and Xcode that is. So to start off, I'm going to show you how to download the official project file and use Xcode to install the Topanga jailbreak onto your device so you can remove it. So to start off, go ahead and open up a new Safari window and navigate to the link in the description of this video, which will take you to the official page of the Topanga jailbreak. All we need to do here is click download and drag that file to our desktop. So once that is on your desktop, we're going to go ahead and open up the folder and then open up the Topanga project file and that will open up Xcode. Now, before we do anything in Xcode, all we need to do is connect our device to our computer. And so here, once Xcode has loaded in just one second, the only thing we're going to change is the build identifier. You just have to input something completely random or that has never been used before. Secondly, under the team drop down menu, all you have to do is add your Apple ID. And then once that has added, you will just select your Apple ID. Lastly, up in the top left section, right next to where it says Topanga, we're going to click on that and then navigate to our selected device. Now, once all those settings are in place, we are going to run this project file. You can do this by clicking the play button in the top left. This will now compile and install this program. Now once the Topanga jailbreak has been installed on your device again, we are going to go ahead and head into the settings app, navigate to general, and then navigate to profiles and device management and trust our developer account. And now that that's trusted, we can navigate out of the settings app and into the Topanga jailbreak. Now here, instead of clicking jailbreak, we're going to click tap to remove Topanga. And once this process has started, it won't take very long. It will run through a couple steps, removing all of the files that the Topanga jailbreak installed. Now you will notice that you will have to perform a reboot once this process has finished. And once you reboot back and open up your device, you will notice that the Cydia icon and the other JJJ icon are still actually present on your home screen. But not to fear, they have been completely uninstalled. All that is left to do to remove those icons is to do a UI cache rebuild. But like I said, at this point in time, the applications and everything that the Tupanga jailbreak has installed has been successfully completely uninstalled. 
The only reason these applications are still showing up on the home screen, they are just leftovers that are still in the cache on the phone, and so we just have to reset that really fast. So to do this, we're going to actually go into the phone and enable the Electra jailbreak. You can also do this with the Libre iOS jailbreak, either or we just need the ability to SSH into our device. So once that is all enabled and we are in our jailbroken state, we're going to head over to the computer. Here we are just going to run a quick terminal command and all we're going to input is U-I-C-A-C-H-E and press enter. This is of course after entering our password. And again, if you have yet to change the default password, the default password is Alpine in lower caps. And now that we have entered this command, we can go ahead and exit out of this terminal window. And all that is left to do is to respring our device. So we're actually going to open up another terminal window. We're going to enter our password once more. We are going to type kill all negative nine springboard and the SNB in springboard are capitalized. So essentially all that is doing is just rebuilding the UI cache and then respringing your device manually. And once this has been completed and your device performs the respring, once you are back on the home screen, you will now notice that the Cydia icon and the JJJ icon have been completely removed. So now that all that is taken care of, you've removed every single little trace of the Tupanga jailbreak from your device. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video on how to remove the Topanga jailbreak from your device. Again, I use the method with the Xcode project. You can, however, alternatively use the IPA file that I have linked down in the description. Again, this is not my IPA file. This is just one that a Reddit user has provided. Anyway, the same process applies. You will install the IPA file using Cydia Impactor, and once that is done, you will open up the Topanga app on your phone and click tap to remove Topanga. From there, the steps after that are exactly the same. You will, however, need to install the Electra jailbreak or the Libre iOS jailbreak in order to SSH into your device if you want to remove the remaining Cydia and JJJ icons off your home screen. But just to clarify, after you tap to remove the Topanga jailbreak and it goes through that process, all of the Topanga jailbreak has been removed from your device. The remaining Cydia and JJJ icons that are on your home screen will not impact your ability to install the new Electra jailbreak when that comes out. I personally just wanted to get rid of them entirely until a jailbreak actually does come out with Cydia installed. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video again. Thank you so much for the support. If you guys want to be updated when I release new videos just like this one, and for say when a new jailbreak utility does come out, which could be rather soon with Cydia, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and of course follow me on my social media pages if you want to stay updated more often. But until next time guys, this is Tony, signing out.